license plate for it too. Is that what's going on? I love that European license plate. That's awesome. I think that looks so good. And it covers up some of the too. <laughs> really? I also want to paint the brake calipers red. Oh, that would look good. That's a that's like a whole weekend project. Uh, Oh, those gauges are nice. I'm not a big fan of how it has like, it's kind of hard to explain, but how it goes up to 90 and then the numbers get a bunch, like a lot smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. My mom's got a Saab too and her car does the same exact thing. Really? I, I just think it's stupid. Like you said in your video, the key is actually down here on the center console and not Right there, where it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, Saab, Saab is obviously known for being very strange, but uh, one of the reasons why they did that is for safety reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes the car a lot harder to steal. Okay. Because, you know, you can't just hotwire here. And because it doesn't have an actual key, it has like the... Oh, yeah. All right, so this car is a 2003 Saab 9.3, is that right? Yep. It has a 2-liter turbocharged engine which produces uh, 210 horsepower, 221 pound-feet of torque, which is a pretty substantial amount when you compare it to uh, like the Mercedes C-Class, the BMW 3 Series, and the Audi A4 at the time, because those cars only made in the high 100s, except for the... I think the 330i made in that. You know, everything looks, it, to be honest, it looks classic, like a classic um, American car almost would look, but there's just so many buttons. Look how many buttons there are just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't have six presets, I have 12 presets, because <laughs> this is also like a, it looks like the phone keypad, like the old oh, fashioned yeah. phone keypad. Check out that screen too, that's yeah. like. HD screen. It's uh, 4K right there, actually. <laughs> and then uh, this is a cup holder, right? Yep. Just push this, and then it slides out. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it folds out to avoid you hitting, or it getting in the way of the uh, AC controls. Okay. The interior is actually held up really well in here. It's, uh, you know, it's leather. Yeah, the leather is in really good condition. I love these seats. They have some nice uh, firm support on the sides, mm -hmm. which it holds you in place uh, yeah. when you're driving. It's horrible. Is this it? manual here, I'll show you. Watch, when I try and downshift from third to second here, watch the lag. <laughs> it's, not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. <laughs> uh, uh, Chevy Corvette. C7 <laughs> Corvette. Tell us the best feature about this car and go. <laughs> uh, my favorite feature would probably be uh, the turbo noise. Uh, I don't know. I just, I love the sound of turbos. I think it sounds really good when you get it at the right RPMs and you get it on full boost. It, it hisses extremely loudly. <laughs> I don't know. I just love that. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now you can't really tell because it's during the day, but there's this button called night panel here, which if you uh, go over to the gauges and I hit that, it turns off all the gauges <laughs> and all the lights and everything over here, except for the speedometer up to 90 miles an hour. And it's just kind of something like at night when you're driving, it's to prevent all that light from coming back to you. I'll head and give it a little bit of gas here. Give her a rip. Oh yeah. You heard the whoosh of coming off the turbo at the end there. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard to hear, but. Dude, this thing rips for, you know, for like a two liter turbo, this thing rips. This is sweet. It sounds pretty good, like when the turbo comes on, Tell everyone how much you paid for this car. 
So I paid $1,100 for this car. The reason I got it so cheap was one, because the owner was like trying to get rid of it ASAP. Yeah, he, he had just bought a new car. His wife was about to have a baby, so they were just trying to get rid of the car before, you know, they had even more problems. Check engine light was on when I got it, which was only the coil packs. <laughs> uh, so that was like a $100 fix. So that was oh, wow. pretty easy. Um, the check engine light is on again, and that's another weird thing about Saabs. The check engine light, even though there's nothing wrong with the engine right now, the check engine light sometimes will just like cycle on and off. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. It's, it's, yeah, the reason why Saab isn't in business anymore is because, uh, well one, their cars were super expensive, like these cars were like more expensive than, uh, these cars were more expensive than like a 3 Series, or they're like the same price as a C-Class, but as you can tell, it didn't have that same luxury as a C-Class or something like that. Yeah. Were you in the market for this specific car, or why, uh, like how did you end up with this car besides the story you told us? Uh, I was looking for a car uh, probably starting about a year ago, and I was kind of looking for a car of this nature, you know, like a, uh, European and import uh, luxury car. So I was, I was mainly looking at like a 330, mm -hmm. a BMW 330 four-door or coupe. But those were, I, I could never find a good deal on one or they'd have a lot of miles. People were asking too much, stuff like that. My family owns a total of four Saabs actually. Oh wow, so, Saab family here. Yeah, <laughs> so, so as soon as I saw the Saab, my dad's like, I, I texted my dad, he's like, oh, that's a really good deal, we should go check it out. And then like, I knew like, as soon as he said that, I'm like, he's gonna be okay with me buying this because he knows, or we know a lot about these cars, you know, we do all of our own work on them, yeah. uh, you know, to avoid the maintenance <laughs> costs. Cause there's only one shop in all of Phoenix that works on Saabs. Really? Yeah. Well, that. Well, I mean, like other shops can work on them, but there's only one shop that has like all the tools that you need. Oh, okay. Like, some of the tools are weird. Yeah. Uh, so, just to get my AC, when I bought the car, there was a problem with the AC too, and it was like when the fans was bad, and just to have that fixed was four hundred dollars. Oh wow. Which is insane. Yeah. And you know, kind of ridiculous, but. Owning a Saab, it, in a way, it's kind of like, this is kind of a weird and stupid thing to say, but it's kind of like being in like a club almost. Like, mm -hmm. you know, whenever you see a Saab on the road, you like flash your high beams at it and they flash <laughs> back. It's very smooth, it rides nice. Yeah, it has uh, 18 inch wheels on it, which are aftermarket, uh, mm -hmm. I bought myself. Uh, yeah, it rides really smoothly for these lower profile tires and it's very composed at these higher speeds. So. Um, you want to shout out your YouTube channel yes, really quick? Uh, so please subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm trying to grow my channel. I do a lot of similar stuff that uh, Archinook does. Uh, my channel is Auto Autopsy. Uh, I'm sure he'll put a link in the description for me. Wait, uh, oh, there we yeah, go. There we go. Thumbs up. <laughs> if you guys want to see more content about what I what I drive and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's Auto op Autopsy. Um, I'll put a link in the description. You know, thanks for showing me your... Uh, your Saab, your $1,100 Saab, and it's actually really nice for how cheap you bought it for. And there's my car just sitting right there. Beautiful.